with sneakers and his fist ripped the chrome for fifth. So I, right. I can't tell which one. They're kind of like the same. Are they? Nah, this one's a little higher. Well, let me see if I can even touch this. Oh, yeah, you're right. This is great. Yeah. Yeah, you can move that shit. It's too early for this foolishness. Them hops, though. I could have touched the other one, too. Yeah, you probably could. That's not a problem. I can, but that's some squats, boy. That's some... Squats, man. All right, y'all. So we up in Dick's Sporting Goods. Nate is trying to buy a belt. Finally, if we could find them one or decent one. So we just up in here, kind of looking around, looking at stuff. Y'all saw. Got that dunk in real quick. But um, yeah, man. We gonna try and find this right, shit. So we up in the fitness area, just looking at some some stuff. Oh, here's that. Uh, what's that? What's that shit? The tiger tail. It, uh, that's what you call it? Yeah, well, that's not a tiger tail, but yeah, so it's, it's a, supposed to be really good yeah. for like your legs and back, back, back and all that shit. Oh, massage ball. I heard these are good too, bro. Yeah, these shits are really good. I'm too. not paying fifteen dollars for that motherfucker, bro. <laughs> Why the perfectly good fucking morning have to get run? I, I'm about to put this nigga on black. But as well. We're Until next time, we're out. All right, Kineski and fucking Cassidy. Whoever the fuck this is, that's right, I'm calling your ass out. Whoever the fuck this is, just got hella blocked for sending some bullshit. I, how'd I even put what he said? Y'all know what the fuck he sent. Mm. What, like why, nigga? You know like, the bad thing is I saw your phone go up and I saw that name and like I didn't think of anything of it. Yeah, I just, yeah, I'm thinking, oh, you know, sometimes people send me stuff like, what, like if they're wearing one of my shirts or they're working out or whatever, you know what I'm saying? Like, or some people just, you know, they do that annoying shit where they post it on their story and then yeah, they, they post shit send, on. Yeah, they just send it to you. If you fucking do that and it has nothing to do with me, I don't fucking like you. But this nigga right here just, like, why are you sending dick pics to niggas, bro? Like, I mean, we're not homophobic at all, but I'm no. Kidding. I mean, like, it, like I'm yeah, not like, uh, but not, it's just that's not, that's, like chicks don't even like that shit, bro. Yeah, that's so true. it's like uh, uh, get your life together, <sighs> get your shit together, bro. Anyways, man, about to drink this protein shake. We about to head over to this gym, hit some upper body. God damn, I, I, we gotta listen to some fucking music or something. I got it. That just well, let me make sure I block this motherfucker because I don't need no fucking surprises in the future. Did he get blocked? Block. Uh, inappropriate snaps. Fuck off my shit. Thank you. Bye. Maybe. Bye, bitch. Bye. You send me that bullshit, man. Fuck. All right. Anyways, let's. Oh, fuck. Let's just head to the gym. God damn. In other words, I bought my belt. I bought my belt finally. It might be a little too big, but that's okay. I did my research what it's supposed to do. It's just supposed to keep your core tight and put more pressure on your abs or some shit like that. So for those of y'all who don't know what belts do, basically, it basically increases intra-abdominal like, pressure or force. So you know like if you're squatting, right? You know like, when you're coming up, you gotta kind of brace your core. Well, basically what you're doing is, whenever you're doing a big heavy movement, you wanna take in air into your stomach. You know what I'm saying? You never wanna take in air into your head. A lot of people, they'll be like, and they'll hold all the air in their head, and that's when you start seeing stars and shit. You know what I'm saying? You want to hold it in your stomach. You want to extend the stomach out. And what that does is your stomach presses up against the belt, and it creates more force. So when you're coming up, that's how you can lift more weight. I mean, it's more scientific than that, but for all you basic people out there who just want layman's term shit, there you go. I'm one so. of those people, what you got against them? And everybody wants to know, oh, well, the intra-abdominal pressure increases, which uh, increases, you know, motor... Like, nobody wants to hear all that, you know what I'm saying? Like, the belt makes your core tighter so you can lift heavier shit. You're welcome. The money coming in, it ain't no issues. I just fucked the rapper, bitch, I should have did show. Got the Mac 11 cocky, got the kick, too. Serving... All right, y'all, me and I'm Oh, about to go ahead and start off with the bench press. Do a little upper body work real quick, man. Um, I'm gonna get mostly raw clips. I'm not gonna do a whole bunch of editing and shit, I don't think. So, let's get it popping. All right, here we go. First set, first set. Oh, 
Oh, this is about to be a bitch right here. This is about to be a bitch right here. Gotta hit this shit right here. For three. I remember when I only used to be able to hit that shit once. Now I gotta hit it three times. <laughs> so, we gonna see how this shit goes, man. My fat ass walked over here quick as fuck. I'm like, nah, boy. All right, guys. So decided to do a little quick voiceover right here to describe the second part of the workout. So after we finished hitting some power lifting sets with the flat bench, we went ahead and did the incline bench with traditional. Well, we still went pretty heavy, I would say. Um, I went for like 10 reps, or I tried to get 10 reps on each set. I think I did. I think I was able to get 10 on each set that I did. We just did three sets. Typically on my days where I'm doing a lot of power lifting, um, which is basically on the weekends, I don't do a lot of volume. I just do like compound movements and I do them very heavy. No more than 10 reps. Like 10 reps is my absolute max. So started off with just the incline bench right there. Then moved on to just some T-bar rows, doing three sets of eight. You know what I'm saying? I think Nate was able to get a little more than eight. Um, I would like to see him improve his form a little bit more, but it's all good. You know what I'm saying? He's still moving the weight. He's still able to pick it up off the ground. And we use 35s today. I know a lot of times I told you guys to use 25s, but I use 35s a lot because I have longer arms. So my range of motion is still pretty good. I don't like 45s because I definitely don't get a good range of motion, but either the 35s or the 25s give me a good range so I can get a better range of motion and get more bang for my buck. Then went right here and just did some pull-ups, man. Really chin-ups. I like to uh, grab the bar with a neutral grip. So not underhand and not overhand, but just like a neutral grip. I think that's the best grip that there is. Had a 27 and a half pound dumbbell in between my legs. And I was able to get eight reps for three sets barely. And it looks like my back is still pretty lean. And that usually is how it goes. You know, my back usually stays pretty lean. Even when I'm, you know, over 220. All right, Nate right here doing some pull-ups you know what i'm saying still always impressed with nate and getting pull-ups man at his weight man then the last thing we did was just some um some standing military press i like to do a lot of standing stuff now because i'm really trying to improve my core so um a lot of my shoulder exercises i've started doing standing up or anything i can do that is standing i'll do it standing instead of seated so we just finished off the workout with uh three sets of this just uh, I tried to get eight reps on each. I think I did three sets of eight, but it was a hard eight. So um, that was the whole workout, y'all. I'll put it in the description for you and enjoy the rest of the vlog. I had fun with this vlog, so be sure to like it, all right? I want to see more likes on these videos. All right, so we done. Nate's punking out. He's not going to do the sprints with me. He's just going to go to Subway. I gotta go to work. Some of us gonna have the luxury of having a Saturday and Sunday off. Hey man, we shit. got corporate America over here. Yeah, for now. What? Oh, shit, actually, I have wait even more days off. Oh, Eventually, okay, that's bitch ass. <laughs> Eventually, I'll have a bunch of time off. I'll be working like nine days a week. I mean, a month, nine days a week. I just sound as dumb as fuck. Really? But anyway, I'm about to go outside and run my sprints, man. I gotta run seven. I'm trying to build up to ten. So right now I'm at seven. Last week I did six, and now I'm doing seven. And then I'm gonna figure out something to eat, so I'll see y'all in a minute. All right, so I actually just left my camera in the gym like an idiot, but 
Whew, about to go run these sprints, man. It's not too hot out here, as y'all can see. Like, it's actually kind of a nice day. So these sprints aren't gonna be too bad, but they're still sprints. So it's still gonna suck. But I'm trying to get my cardio up, so I don't really have a choice. I gotta get this shit done. Let's get it. This nigga, is you creeping or speaking? He tells me C Rock just got hit up at the beacon. I opens up the door, pitiful. Is the critical retaliation? But this one won't be minimal. Cause I'm a criminal. Way before the rap shit busted. Alright guys, so it's been a few hours. I had a little bowl of cereal. Didn't record it, wasn't nothing special. I was just too lazy to go get food, but I decided, you know what, let me go actually get a meal meal. So let me show y'all what I got. <laughs> Matter of fact, before I show y'all, why don't y'all go ahead and comment below. I'm gonna give y'all a couple seconds. Comment below or say out loud to yourself. Rather a comment, cause that helps the channel grow. Um, But anyway, you know, say to yourself, Sean, what did he get? What did Sean get? All right, did you guess? Do you think you're right? Do you think you're right? You're right. Let's find out. All right. If you guessed Panda Express, well, you obviously know me very well. I went ahead and got me some Panda Express. Um, I think in here, let's see. Okay. So this is a side of orange chicken. This is a side of vegetables, you know, to keep it somewhat healthy. Let me go ahead and open this real quick for y'all. Uh, Jesus. I can't. I'm doing this with one hand. It's kind of hard. All right, see, I got a side of veggies right here, and then in here is just a extra side of orange chicken. Yes, God. And then of course in here, got me the white rice, that Shanghai Angus. I'm telling y'all, if you haven't freaking tried this, you need to go try it. Okay, it'll change your life. And then this is obviously just some regular teriyaki chicken, which is always good. And then they got the two little fortune cookies, which I'm not gonna eat, but y'all already know. I love to share my fortunes, so let's see what they say. All right, so first fortune here, I'm gonna try and read backwards. You are a fun-loving person and will find much happiness. Well, I'll be damned. I really hope I do find happiness. That is, that is a great first fortune. Let's see what the next one says. A solid challenge will bring forth your finest abilities. So I guess they're saying that I guess I'm gonna be challenged and that challenge is gonna bring forth the best of my abilities. Well, I hope the challenge ain't too damn hard, man. But anyway, speaking of challenges, I still have one to do. But regardless of that, um, I'm going to go ahead and eat this food. Then I'm going to talk to y'all a little bit. So let me enjoy this. I'm going to find something on Netflix or something to watch, man. Distract my mind. And uh, then we'll talk for a little bit, all right? So stay tuned. I'll see y'all in a minute. I don't know how regular people eat their pandas. But when I get a whole bunch of stuff like that, I don't like to see I mix everything together and just go in. Like some people eat one thing at a time, and sometimes I'm like that, but for the most part, I just mix everything in there together so it's nice and good. Oh, look at that. Ooh, you wish you had some, don't you? Go down to your local Panda Express, man, and get you some. And then, of course, I forgot to tell y'all, this iced tea, sugar-free sweet tea on deck. Probably finish the rest of this, to be honest. And I'm on YouTube trying to find something to watch. All right, watch. guys, so my last meal right here is just going to be some Chipotle. Y'all know what I typically get. Now, they didn't have chicken today. So I got double barbacoa, lettuce, white rice, black beans, and a little bit of uh, tomato sauce. So that's, that's it. They didn't even have fajitas left. I'm going to eat that really quick. And then um, I want to talk to you guys a little bit about, like, my goals right now because they're kind of up and down right now. Like, I know I have my No Cuts, No Glory series going on. But I definitely have to, like, you know, let you guys know what's going on, where my mind is. And that's typically what I do on the weekends. The weekends, I kind of let you guys know about my journey and what's going on with me. And then during the week, I give you information to help you out. So if it's a weekend video, typically it's about me, all right? And if it's a video during the week, it's something that will help you. Whether it's entertain you, inform you, um, teach you something new, um, you know, show you something, whatever. So I'm going to go ahead, eat that, and we'll talk in a minute. All right guys, so I finished eating and I just wanted to talk to you guys a little bit about my current routine, my current diet, what what am I doing basically right now? So a lot of you guys know I have my No Cuts, No Glory series going on right now. And um, you know, I was supposed to be dieting, but originally that was because I was going to the Arnold to do a collab with Sean and Brian um, and John, but that's not happening anymore because I just don't have the funds to drop that kind of money right now. So I have to stay my butt 
in Miami. That's why I, you know, have changed my diet a bit. But I still want to be relatively lean because as you guys do know, I'm training to become a firefighter. I have my emergency medical technician stuff I'm going to do first before the academy. So technically, I don't have to get lean for a while, but I still want to just be in shape. I don't want to have to get in shape for, you know, um, the academy. I don't want to delay that. So I'm, you know, practicing sprint. I'm sprinting now. I really got to get into jogging and trying to run a mile to a mile and a half and just trying to get into the groove of doing that i've never been a runner i don't like running but um it's something i'm gonna have to get you know into i have to really get my cardio up so right now i'm doing cardio five times a week for 30 minutes um at like a you know a moderate pace or whatever and then twice a week i run sprints so on wednesdays and on saturdays i run sprints so basically by running the sprints, I kind of get like a high intensity interval training. And then the other days I'm getting more like steady state cardio. And then of course you guys know, I'm still doing my regular split. I'm still doing my heavy upper body on Saturday, heavy lower body on Sunday. Except now on Mondays, I'm doing like shoulders and arms. Tuesday, I got chest. Wednesday is back and traps. And Thursdays is legs. Friday, I have off. Well, off. I still do abs and cardio, but it's off. Like, I'm not doing anything too crazy. As far as my diet goes, my macros, I actually increased my carbs to 300, dropped my protein down to 200, and my fats are about 70 to 80, usually about 75 to 80 grams. So basically, the reason why I did that is um, I'm running the strength program. Now, it's nothing crazy. It's the strength program that I found from T Nation. Um, so I'm basically, you know, using the percentages based off of my one rep maxes and, you know, I'm just trying to increase strength. It's got, it's pretty good. I like the way that it's structured. It's been challenging me, but I haven't failed, um, at anything yet, you know, so that definitely has helped me. And I think that without doing all the cardio that I'm doing, uh, it probably would be even easier, but it's harder, you know, so. Um, I'm trying to kind of see what my how my body reacts to having 300 grams of carbs, 200 protein, the 75 to 80 grams of fat, and then you know doing cardio like every day and lifting heavy on the weekends and running high volume during the weekdays. So I'm trying to see how my body reacts to that, man. And with all that training, I'm trying to really prioritize sleep, which. <laughs> sounds crazy since it's 2 30 in the morning right now and i'm recording this and i'm gonna edit it but it's the weekend so i'm cool yeah that's kind of what i'm doing right now man um i'm gonna continue with the no cuts no glory series um because in all honesty i'm actually planning a tr another trip uh it's gonna be much less money for me it's not it's set in stone so i'm not gonna say what but if it does happen i will let y'all know and on top of that, um, I want to kind of just, I want to get lean. I want to get lean. Summer's coming around. If I have to head to the beach or any time, like, or anything like that, uh, you know, it's always good to be at your leanest, you know? So you go, oh, you know, if I'm at the beach, whatever. I'm in Miami, man. So, I mean, the beach could be every weekend if I wanted it to. But, you know, summertime is like, you know, when it's popping. I'm going to go ahead um, and just end this video. I just want to talk to you guys a little bit. You know, you know whenever I put out a weekend video, it's more so about my journey and what I'm doing and any videos during the week is all tips to help you guys out. So if you don't really give a damn about my journey, then don't watch my weekend videos. But if you care at all, or if you wanna know what I'm up to, then you know I try and post like one video a weekend just so you guys kinda get a feel for what it is that I'm going through and what my plans are. So stay tuned, a lot of good videos coming this week. I got a Motivation Monday coming for you guys. I got a good um, macros tip coming for you guys. I'm gonna try and record a training tip for you guys tomorrow if I can. Um, just a lot of good stuff. I'm trying to put out more content, so you'll get at least three videos. I might try and aim for five this week, but no promises. Three to five videos a week is what you're gonna get, all right? For now, don't forget to order, subscribe and share, like and comment, follow my social media. So next time, my double dogs, dismissed. I'm a general, a nigga, I'm a general, I'm a general.